.NET 9, Preview 5 for .NET MAUI, introduced some brand new Blazor hybrid templates, marrying together web, mobile and desktop, and shared components all into one awesome template. So let's go ahead and check it out. If you were browsing through the .NET 9 Preview 5 release notes, you may have noticed under .NET MAUI a bunch of great new enhancements and also the updated Blazor hybrid templates. If you tap on that, you can see here that there is a new project template that includes a Blazor web app and a Razor class library project for even more code sharing. And it is a new identifier called MAUI Blazor web. So let's go ahead and check it out. The first thing you need to do is install .NET 9 Preview 5 or later. Here you can just download it from the .NET website and you're good to go. All right, once you have that done, you're gonna wanna bring up a terminal. Let me bring up my PowerShell over here. There we go. I'm gonna say .NET workload list. Now here, this is gonna show you all of your different workloads you have installed. You may not have any installed. What we wanna see specifically for MAUI here is the preview five indicator over here. If you don't see that, you see an older preview or something else, you wanna do .NET workload install MAUI, and that will install everything that you need. Now, once you do that, you will go ahead and see what you see here. So this is uh, my Android, Aspire, iOS, Mac Catalyst, MAUI, MAUI Windows, WASM tools, all that stuff on .NET 9 preview five. Then you can do .NET, .NET new list, and that's going to show us all of our templates. So it's going to show us everything that we have here. If we scroll way up top here, we should see that we have the uh, .NET MAUI Blazor hybrid mobile app, and there's the new one, the MAUI Blazor web. So you can do .NET new MAUI Blazor web, or you can come into Visual Studio like I like to do, hit new project, and this will load all of the project templates. I like to filter over here by MAUI, that's gonna show us just MAUI one, and we'll have our standard .NET MAUI app, our Blazor hybrid application, and then what we'll see is this new one, which is called .NET MAUI Blazor hybrid and web app. So if I go ahead and create this new one, let's just call it MAUI app nine, that sounds about right. And then I get a new configuration screen. And this is because this is gonna configure my web application alongside my .NET MAUI Blazor hybrid app. So I want HTTPS and I, yes, I want uh, sample pages and you can decide what render mode you want the web app to run in. Remember the Blazor hybrid app is running inside of .NET MAUI. So there is no interaction mode at all. It just is just standard Blazor stuff running inside the app. So I'm gonna hit create here and this is gonna spin up my template with everything that I need inside of it. All right, here we go. And the first thing I wanna show you is that we have now three different projects over here inside of Visual Studio. I have my MAUI app, my MAUI app shared, which is just going to be a simple Razor class library. So we can see the Razor indicator up here and targeting .NET 9. And then we also have the MAUI app web uh, over here, which is just a simple Blazor application. Now let's go ahead and investigate this a little bit more. So the one thing that this has done, if you've watched any of my previous getting started with Blazor Hybrid or Blazor Hybrid Beginner series, is that we would add a web project later and add a Razor class library and figure out how to share the code between. But we never got to the point where all of our pages, for example, and all of our layout files were all inside of a Razor class library. So here by default, everything is inside of this single uh, shared project. So we have our main layouts, we have our counters, and we have our routes, for example, which will be our router navigating around. We can see we just have standard components such as the counter. And then we also have our weather over here, which just has our weather information. And it has our different standard, you know, just classical web stuff. And then we have a home. And this one is a tiny bit different compared to uh, a standard Blazor hybrid app with .NET MAUI and a standard Blazor app because there's a little bit of tiny code and in this injected I form factor. So this is gonna tell us that the app is running on a specific factor and platform. Oh, where is that coming from? Well, if we go into services, we can see there's an I form factor. That's a simple in interface here that's saying get form factor and get platform. So that needs to be implemented. Now, if I come over into my Blazor application first, we can see that this is just coming in and referencing my shared project. If I go into my program, this is just a standard Blazor application, 
but it is registering this singleton for I form factor. We'll take a look at that in a second. Then if we scroll down, we'll see that it's also automatically configuring our additional assemblies, which is required when we're in this mode and we're using Razor class libraries. I still have components, so I still have pages such as my error specific page here. I still have import specific here and I have my app.razor as well. So that is all coming in here. So that is still the same that we would expect. Under properties, just launch JSONs. And then under services, we have a form factor CS. So this is the implementation of I form factor. We can see here, this is just saying get form factor, it's returning web. And then it's just using environment OS version to grab the platform that it's running on. If we go ahead and set this as the startup project over here, and I just run it inside my browser, what we should see is a standard Blazor application, just like if we were creating a Blazor hybrid app or a Blazor application with the sample data, but we're gonna get a little bit more information coming across. All right, so it's starting up in debug mode. Cool, there it is. And here it is. Hello world, your app is running on the web using Microsoft NT 10, blah, 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 whatever my version is. I saw my counter, I can click around, I have my weather, all my stuff. Okay, cool. Let's take a look at the Dynamic Maui app. So here again, we have just a Android, iOS, Mac and Windows application. And down over here, the main difference is that we have this ASP.NET Core WebView Maui. If you've never seen Blazor Hybrid, definitely check out my beginner videos, uh, which I'll put a link to up in the top left over here and in the show notes again. Now, the only main difference here is that while we do have technically a dub dub route with little CSS and HTML, we do have an imports razor like you would expect importing for this specific uh, Blazor hybrid app. We have our platform folders from Don and Maui. We have our resources from Don and Maui. But the main difference is that if I collapse these all down, we'll see we have a services folder. And this here is using a form factor, and this is using the built in uh, services in Maui devices info to get the idiom and to get the platform and version string that we're running on over here and just adding those together, which is great. Now, if I go into my Maui program, we're going to see that this is going to look pretty similar. The only main difference compared to other Blazor hybrid applications before is that we're registering the singleton. We still have our Maui Blazor uh, web view, our Blazor uh, web view developer tools. And if I go into my main page .xaml, we can see that we're using that Blazor web view. But remember that since we're injecting into the home, the form factor, we're using the same exact C, uh, uh, dependency injection service here. It's all going to work the same. So if I go in now and I set this as my startup project over here, and I just run this, let's say out of windows, it's going to build up and we should see the same exact Blazor application running inside of a Blazor hybrid app inside of .NET Maui. So let's give this a second to compile up. All right, so one, we get our XAML Live preview. That's cool. Let's go ahead and bring this over here. And there we go. So we can see here that when I click on home, I get the, you have a new web app running on desktop using WinUI. So that's the platform that's coming back. I get the counter over here, click around, and I have weather coming in here as well. So I get all that. And the same would be true. I'd get Android and a mobile or on phone factor, whatever it is, the form factor is coming in. So we get the same exact application. Of course, it's all responsive because it's using the same shared CSS and everything like that that you would expect to have. But now we can continue to scaffold out our application, put all of our code into our shared project, and we're totally good to go. Well, there you have it. That is the brand new Blazor Hybrid with .NET MAUI plus web application template inside of .NET 9 Preview 5. Definitely give it a check. Give the team feedback. I'll link to the release notes to all my beginner videos, everything like that. What do you think? Hopefully this makes it easier for people to get started building awesome desktop and mobile apps and web apps, sharing code between all of them. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed it at all and you wanna see more of this goodness, give it a like and of course, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date every time I put out a new video right here on YouTube. All right, that's gonna do it. Thanks for watching.